Now let's talk eccentricity. Eccentricity is the measure of how elliptical or how circular something might be, or for a parabola, um, it, it basically would be referring to like how wide or narrow it might be, or hyperbola, the same type of deal. So eccentricity is this measure of the C divided by A, where C is regarding the distance to the focus, A is the distance to the vertice from uh, the center of the graph. So that's where we get this. So it says determine the eccentricity of this ellipse. Well, first, let's think about eccentricity. The formula said is C divided by A. And so your A comes from the bottom. It's the bigger number. So this is actually, I shouldn't say A, it's A squared. So A in this problem is plus or minus 8. Now, we're only going to take the positive here. So I'm going to come over here and say that my 8 is my A. Here we go. And now to find C. Well, how do we find C? C comes from the formula. C squared equals A squared minus B squared. So if A squared is 64... B squared is 36, then my C squared will come from that. You subtract, and I believe I get here 28. So C squared equals 28, and now C is going to be the square root of 28. So it would be plus or minus square root of 28. Again, we're not concerned about plus or minus, because honestly they would just kind of cancel each other out, so we're going to take the positive. Uh, let's see, do we have a square root of 28? We could change that to being four, the square root of 4 times the square root of 7. Divide that to the 2. Let's try that again. A 7. And that would be equal to 2 square roots of 7. So we could re list this as 2 square roots of 7 over 8. And that would reduce to become the square root of 7 over 4. That's the easiest way of determining the uh, eccentricity. You could write it this way. But oftentimes, they'll give it to you as a decimal. So let's go over the calculator, and as a decimal, we would simply say that is the value, the square root of 7 over 4, 0.6614. So we could say that this is 0 0.6614. We could write it this way as well. Now I have one for you to try given this form. So you'll have to get it into um, the proper equation first. And remember that you'll do that by completing the square.